like it, so I keep that. This whole stack popped out. Okay, so we have endings. We have cancer. Stability. Boundaries. Enlightenment. They only wanted to use you. And then we have you're protected. So this could be you who went through this. This could be someone that you're attached to. This could be someone that you have detached from. This could be someone who wants to come towards you. Different people that they're attached to. Different people that they may have detached from. This is masculine and feminine energy. Past, present, or near future. So you just have to take what resonates and leave what does not. So it's like something have came to an end with this endings being here. You could be a cancer. This person could be a cancer. Stability is here. You're someone that has stability. And somebody only wanted to use you, but you're protected. Boundaries is here. You set boundaries because you're someone that's enlightened. With this um, enlightenment and boundaries. Five, five, five. Huh. Yeah, five of pentacles is here, the high priestess and the hair find is here. So we have five of pentacles, high priestess and the hair find. So I'm getting you're in this energy like you're in a very high vibrational energy with this high priestess and the hair find popping out. That's like balancing out masculine and feminine energy to the highest. And um, you can balance out both. So it's like five of pentacles energy. Whoever this is that's, at, that's in this endings energy, they're, you know, experiencing five of pentacles. Financial lacks, feeling left out in the cold. A lot of people could have just, you know, ghosted that person or don't even want to be around that person anymore. This could have been somebody that was trying to use you. Or trying to use someone else that you're attached to or that wanted to come towards you. Um, but you were protected. You're someone that's this high priestess. Whatever this person was trying to hide, you could see it. You're also someone that's like a hair fine. A lot of people respect you. They look up to you. You're someone that's very enlightened. So it's like you're someone that is balanced out. This person could not get inside of your energy. Normally the high priestess and a hair fine, these are twins. So if you have a twin... This um, five of pentacles energy is being left out in the cold because you're protected, especially if you chose to, you know, walk in your high vibrational energy. This person is being left out in the cold because this is a low vibrational energy. And they always vibe low. And these are people that were trying. This person was trying to use you or use that person. But you set boundaries. That person set boundaries because you were enlightened. Yeah, and you're protected from this person, this low vibrational energy. The emperor is here. And then the empress is here. So yeah, it's like you balance out masculine and feminine energy. These are divine beings. It's like you are leaving this low vibrational energy. It's endings happening. Like if this is this reading is for twins, like two people that are twins that are supposed to be coming in union or something like this, like two people have got enlightened. Hair fine, high priestess, the emperor, the empress is here. People are being left out in the cold. Five of Pentacles is here. Yeah. Because you chose to set boundaries. You chose to listen to your intuition. You chose to connect with your higher self. So you can vibe in a high vibrational energy. And that's what leaves different low vibrational energies out in the cold. It's like you don't have common with those people. You don't have anything in common with those people anymore. Especially if you were in a low vibrational energy. Then you wanted to vibe in a higher vibrational energy. 
Because when you know better, you do better, you set boundaries, you get enlightened. Then you realize that's the only thing that you were attached to with that person was low vibrational energy, toxicity. Seven of Swords is here. This is someone that was being very sneaky and deceptive behind the scenes. Lying, sneaking, cheating, stealing, being dishonest, trying to set different people up, thinking that they were smarter than different people. Now, Eight of Cups is here. A lot of people are walking away from this person and not looking back. Yeah, Five of Wands is here. This person caused a lot of drama, chaos, and conflict in a sneaky, deceptive way. And a lot of people are walking away from that person. This person could have been secretly trying to one-up you, compete with you, copy you, all because you're someone that's very high vibrational. What this person did not know is they were trying to play in your energy. All of their energy would mirror back to them and they would have to deal with it in this Five of Pentacles energy. Yeah. And cause a lot of people to walk away from this person. Yeah, this person could not get inside your head. Nine of Swords is here. This person thought they were going to get inside your head, have a lot of gossip, rumors, lies spread on you. People will look at you crazy. This, this is mirroring back to that person. They can't sleep at night. This person is going through a lot of um, dark night of the soul, slander, gossip, sleepless nights, and getting exposed for everything that they had to do and the seven of swords energy. Yeah, a lot of people are gossiping about this person. Ten of Wands is here. It's like whatever this person was trying to throw at you, they're weighed down with that baggage. They're running in circles throughout life. Yeah, Eight of Wands is here. It's like this person got exposed quick. Yeah. Yeah, because they see you in this energy. The star card is here. You're someone that's very um, gifted. You're someone that's chosen. You, you're, you're someone that's spiritually awake. You help people spiritually get woke. Your spiritual teacher. So yeah, a lot of people were watching you. And they seen you in this healing energy, this star energy. And it's like, that's why this person was secretly trying to compete with you. They could have made a lot of people look bad. Yeah. But somebody wants to, it's like 10 of wands. Somebody is trying to get up out of their head. Nine of swords is here. This could be your twin. And um, or this could be a higher level soulmate. Take it where it resonates. But this person do not want to constantly be in their head about something. It's weighing them down. Ten of Wands is here and Eight of Wands. And then the Star card is here. This person wants to come towards you. Yeah, Five of Cups is here. Yeah, Five of Cups is here. They were in regret about something for a while. They possibly didn't believe something that people were saying about this person. If they spread it, lies and gossip and rumors about you that was not true. This person possibly didn't believe stuff that was going on that people were saying about that person. Yeah. And they, they're in regret. Six of Swords and Page of Wands. So this person wants to get away or something like that. And they want to communicate with you. Six of Swords and Page of Wands. This person could be at a distance. Two of Wands in the reverse. This person is no longer at a stalemate or they this person, whoever this energy is, they couldn't keep this person at a stalemate not knowing which direction to take. They could not use this person. It's this low vibrational energy. Yeah, this person was at the Knight of Wands with this person. Trying to get them to chase them down for sex. And they thought they were going to use this person. This person would be in this uh, lustful energy. Doing stuff without thinking. This is sad. Judgment is here. This person is going through karma. They were being judged for whatever they did. And everything backfired. Seven of Wands is here. Because you're protected. Whoever this energy is, they didn't know that. This person is someone that's very uneducated if they were playing with, you know, spell work or something like that. And they figure that they can, you know, hold this person down under some type of love spell or sex magic. Play some type of entity on this person to keep this person attached to them. And it backfired. Yeah, Page of Wands, Page of Swords is here. And Six of Wands, yeah. 
This person is sitting back watching you at the Six of Wands, having victory and success. And they were sitting back watching, hoping that they would have victory and success with whatever spell work they were playing with. They didn't know that they were weighing their self down. Especially if this person tried to talk about you in a negative way. Spread rumors and lies and gossip and slander that was not true. This person made their self look bad. A lot of people are looking up to you. Six of Wands is here. A lot of people are holding you in high honor and walking away from whoever this energy is. They're looking at this person as someone that's mentally unstable. Whatever they said about you, it was not even true. That's why the Nine of Swords is in the reverse. They could not get inside these people's head. It's like if this person came in at the Knight of, Knight of Wands is doing stuff without thinking or had these people in the past, they're not doing that anymore. These are people that are walking away from this person. They caused a lot of conflict, chaos, and drama in people's lives. And they were just watching you have victory and success. Watching you in this healing energy. And they're sitting back at the Five of Cups in regret. Six of Swords. Everybody is selling away from this person. Because they were doing a lot of stuff in secret. The Moon card is here. And they did not expect to get exposed. Yeah, and that's the truth. Ace of Swords clarity. Somebody hadn't gained truth and clarity. And they're walking away from this person. Selling away from things that no longer serve purpose. It's like this person wanted to keep people attached to them in a low vibrational way. If people that, they're, that they um, kicked it with, used drugs with, they wanted to bind them to them. If these are people that they were at the Knight of Wands with, just quick to have sex with, they wanted to bind them to them. This was a mentally unstable person. And they didn't want other people to know. Yeah, this person was toxic. They're binding and blinded to a lot of bad karmic debt. This was a karmic. And they were using anybody that they could. Yeah. For whatever they can. To have people at the Seven of Cups and the Losers are confused. They want to keep people in a confused mindset. Keep people binding and blinded to a lot of bad karmic debt. And that's just being stuck in a never-ending cycle, doing the same thing over and over again, getting the same results and not getting anything out of it. Yeah, the fool card is here. Yeah, this person is going towards a whole nother direction. After being in this never-ending cycle, dealing with the same thing over and over again, constantly dealing with trauma, childhood wounds, abandonment issues, things like that. They're walking away from that. This person needed to heal. Yeah. And they needed to set boundaries. King of Swords is here. This person needed to get enlightened, expand their consciousness and their awareness of what was going on around them. Because they possibly weren't woke. Especially if they were attached to this low vibrational energy and they wanted to keep that person at the Seven of Cups confused, getting high, getting drunk. And not having to care about anything that was going on around them. Not even caring about their self. Because this energy, this low vibration, they don't care about their self. So they project that onto other people to get them to stay attached to them. Yeah, the magician is here. And then three of wands is here. Five of swords. <laughs> yeah, this person made a decision to do this because they thought they were going to manifest something. Three of wands and then the magician is here. But this is what they manifest, the five of swords sabotaging their self. As they thought they were going to sabotage this connection, this person would uh, stay in this dark energy, and you would be heartbroken in this um, light energy as you were trying to help this person out of the darkness because they're the other half of you. Yeah. This person thought they were going to manifest off of this person. Yeah, temperance is here. This person ended up getting themselves grounded. They needed to get balanced out. Balance out masculine and feminine energy. This person was an earth angel. They're very angelic. They have angels and ancestors guiding them and protecting them. Whoever this energy is did not know everything will backfire onto them. Yeah. Nine of Cups is here. And the world is here. Yeah, this person was happy when they completed this cycle out. They were at peace, wish fulfillment. They needed to complete a toxic cycle out because they didn't know that they were in one until they got enlightened and set boundaries. Now this devil energy is in regret, feeling left out in the cold. Because whatever they planned out, whatever decisions they made, they're mirroring that. Whatever they thought that they were going to get out of, you know, the situation, they're watching you be at the Six of Wands, having victory and success. This person thought they were going to dim your light. 
Six of Pentacles is here. Equal give and take. Whatever you do, come back on your tempo. Good or bad. This person chose to balance their self out. As they know that you're their equal. Six of Pentacles. Equal give and take. And it's like as this person cleansed their self, healed their self. Closed this cycle out with this person that was toxic. This is the only thing that they're going to get equal give and take. Because they chose to stand up and balance their self out. They chose to set boundaries and get enlightened, put endings to situations and go through a transformation. Yeah, they chose to take their strength back. Ten of Cups is here and King of Cups. Yeah, this person realized they needed to love their self, pour out more love to their self, open up their heart chakra because it was blocked. This person had them block all different type of um, all of their chakras. They wanted this person to stay in a low vibrational energy. And they would manifest off that person. They would just have this person under a trance, doing whatever they wanted them to do, and it did not work. This person chose, um, they want to be happy with this Ten of Cups being here. They want someone that will love them unconditionally, the way they love, because they weren't loving their self. Yeah, they're looking at you as their ultimate happiness. They needed to love their self first. Because they were in a low vibrational energy. Yeah, the sun card is here. They're seeing stuff for what it is. Whatever was done in the dark, it came to the light. This person had to be in a dark energy for a long time. But everything was illuminated to this person. And they hadn't got woke and started seeing stuff for what it is. And they're happy. They're content. This person is at peace. Yeah, two of cups is here. Yeah, this person's at peace. They want to partner up with you. And this person wants to exchange cups with you. They want to work with you. Two of Swords is here. And then Queen of Swords is here. Yeah, then the Unknown card is here. So whoever this person is, it's something that they don't want you to know. They don't even want you to know about this low vibrational energy. This person that they cut off, Queen of Swords, Two of Swords, and then the Unknown card is here. The reason why they don't want you to know about this person because they're ashamed. Five of Cups is here. This person was sitting back secretly um, trying to send conflict to you, trying to cause endings for you. This person was secretly trying to um, literally copy you, look like you, dress like you, act like you. Did a whole bunch of stuff to try to play spell work over you. But you already know this person don't want you to know. And it's like you knew before that person knew. You could have been a person that warned that person and multiple other people too. But this is something that they don't want you to know. When they partner up with you. So this person could be trying to hide that. Because they don't want you to know they're too ashamed. And it's like. If this person keep harboring resentment and guilt. It's going to block their flow of love. That's it. You already know. This person is just ashamed to even say that they were attached to someone that was that vibe. That was vibing that low. They're embarrassed. Yeah. Eight of Pentacles is here. And then Ten of Pentacles is here. Yeah, they want to work with you and build this Ten of Pentacles. But they don't want you to know about this person, this person that they cut off that was in a low vibrational energy. This person could have got them wrapped up some type of way in a justice system and they were wrapped up in a justice system. They could have had you uh, wrapped up in a justice system. And this person know about it. But it's like they're ashamed, they're embarrassed, they're in regret and they don't want you to know, but you already know. Yeah, you already know. This person tried to cause a lot of endings for you and it did not work. All because they knew that you and this person was twins and they thought that they were going to manifest. Be this musician, have control of you and this person's life. And it did not work. Yeah, the Hermit card is here. And then Seven of Pentacles is here. And then the hangman is here. Yeah. It's like this person could have ghosted you and they got wrapped up in some type of situation. The hangman is here. They could have gave this person something when they ghosted you. And next thing you know, they were, you know, in a hangman energy feeling stuck. This is because this person needed to pay attention to their surroundings, release whatever um, toxicity or toxic patterns that they were attached to. Yeah. Because Seven of Pentacles is like in investing in something, giving somebody something. This person could have ghosted you. 
and they gave this person something seven of pentacles here they were invested in this person and they ended up getting stuck in some type of situation and it's like they don't want you to know but it's like this person will secretly send a conflict to you so if they try to wrap you up in some type of situation that had you in this queen of swords energy after you spoke the truth they mirrored that immediately back to them but this, this low vibrational energy they didn't want that person to know but it's like this person done found out they're seeing stuff for what it is and now they don't want you to know and it's like you already knew yeah this person just keeping their self in the hangman energy by trying to blind you from the truth yeah it's like this person's in guilt and they're in fear of you finding out or something like that ace of pentacles is here and then queen of pentacles is here And then Ace of Cups is here. It's like this person don't want you to know because they want to start over with you and things like that or something like that. Ace of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, and Ace of Cups. Yeah. But it's like as this person is trying to hide that. This is making you not even want to trust this person. Two of Swords is here. Unknown is here. What else could this person, you know, potentially hide? It's the type of stuff that you would think. As you already know, you're someone that's a high priestess, a hair font. You're someone that's vibing in a high vibrational energy and can read energy left and right. And you don't need cards to, or tarot to do this. Yeah. The strength card is here. You're someone that's very strong. You went through a lot. You can read people. Whatever was meant to tear you down and made you grow. The chariot is here. That's why you were able to move forward. After gaining truth and clarity. This person cannot move forward because they're sitting back stuck. Dealing with whatever karma that they try to take you and this person through. And this person is keeping their self stuck in regret. At the five of cups. And you're just moving forward. The chariot is here. After been gaining truth and clarity. Yeah, ten of swords is here. And then eight of swords. Yeah. This person feel betrayed because they got wrapped up in some type of situation. And they see you moving forward. And it's like whatever they got wrapped up in with this person after they did whatever they did. This person did whatever they did to you and betrayed this person. But they didn't know. And it's like, it immediately backfired on this karmic in your twin. But they don't want you to know that. This person is trying to hide that they're going through something. But they're going through whatever had them backfire onto them as they were attached to this five of pentacles energy. And you already knew. Yeah, queen of cups is here. You're someone that's very intuitive. Queen of cups. You're someone that's like a psychic. And it's like this person thought they were going to blind you from the truth. No. This is make you not even want to trust this person. What else would this person lie about? Four of Pentacles is here and King of Pentacles is here. Yeah. This person was only trying to stay attached to this person because they looked at this person for financial gain. They were very needy and codependent. And their, their sole goal was dependent on that person. I just could not. How could you literally just sit back and depend on someone else and you can't even de depend on yourself? This is sad and very childish. And this person could have been accustomed to that. Needing somebody to um, depend on them. And you don't. It's because they're used to dealing with low vibrational energies. People that drain them. To keep them vibing low. Build their self-esteem up and then snatch it from them. Take it from them. And this is what they were accustomed to. Keeping their self stuck. To be betrayed over and over again. You're someone that loves yourself. Queen of Cups is here. Yeah. The Death card is here. And then Four of Wands is here. Yeah, they were around this person. This person literally thought that if they can hold on to this person, they would put an end to you and this person coming in union. Yeah. This person did not know that they were coming. It's like, whatever this energy was doing, it was to try to cause an end to you and this person's destiny. And they thought they would walk in it. 
this whoever this person that they were trying to hold to, which is your twin, they're not even walking in their destiny. So make it make sense. <laughs> it's like, how could they? Yeah, Will of Fortune is here. They thought they would put an end to you and this person coming in, and they would have control of this Will of Fortune. These are two people that are not compatible or not divine counterparts. <laughs> how could people look at this person as someone, a four of pentacles and a king of pentacles, to be twins or to be a match, to be equal, give and take? This person was psychotic and had this king of pentacles thinking that they needed somebody to need them. They were very low. Their self-esteem was stripped from them as they were dealing with these low vibrational energies. That's why this person needed to stand up and know their worth and love their self in order to get that type of energy back because they were just getting these type of energies. Four of pentacles energies. I don't know why I keep hearing this. Like succubus, incubus, spirits. That's it. To drain them, leech on them, suck on them. And they didn't realize that. Yeah. This was slowing this person down. Knight of Pentacles is here. Keeping this person distracted. Yeah, tower and four of swords is here. This person ended up going through some type of tower moment. Yeah, they could have gotten sick. This person could have went through a near-death experience? Tower moment and four of swords? With this person? Yeah, this could have been an accident or something like that. Yeah, two of pentacles is here. So this person could have went through a tower moment where they ended up getting sick. And they were in this energy of, um, you know, just Knight of Wands energy. And they, don't, they were sitting there trying to figure out where did they get it from. This is sad. And this is sick. This is how low vibrational this per the energy that this person was in with these toxic people. That's why this person could not come towards you. Now, this could have happened in the past, present. It could be happening in the past. It could have happened now. It could be going on in the near future. So you have to take what resonates. Six of cups on the bottom of the deck. So this could have happened in the past. And then justice is here. This person needed to release whoever this person is and bring in justice for their self because they were keeping their self stuck. To be betrayed, eight of swords, ten of swords. It's like this person could have been set up to go to jail, eight of swords. Ten of swords is like facing prison time, fed time, or something like that. Doing a bid, harsh, painful endings. And this person could have literally went through that. Or something like that because of this person. As you stay attached to people by choice. And it's like, if you, yeah... So it's like if you, this person could be wanting to communicate with you because they could be getting ready to face some time or go to jail. And they want to, they don't want you to move forward from them because they're getting ready to go through their karma for whatever they, you know, whatever karma they racked up being attached to this low vibrational energy by choice. Yeah, Page of Pentacles is here. And then Queen of Wands is here. Three of Cups and Knight of Cups. Yeah, this person wants to reconnect with you. They want to reconcile with you. Yeah. It's like they're looking at you in a whole nother light. It was a lot of gossip and rumors spread about you because you were spiritually awake. You set boundaries. You were getting enlightened. You're someone that has stability on your own and you're not needy and codependent. This person tried to trash you to different people and ended up getting exposed. This is someone that don't even know you. Yeah. And you were in this energy, nine of pentacles, very stable, single, sufficient, abundant. You don't even vibe with people. You don't even be around people. You're a hard worker. You're mindful of what you give your time, your money, and your energy to. And you're someone that's celibate, saving yourself for what you know you're worth. And you also can read energy. This person could not stand it. You could have just started reading tarot or something like that. Could have just started a successful business or something like that. And this person thought they would get behind the scenes and they seem at the Nine of Pentacles and they will, um, you know, take you to the Nine of Swords. And it did not work. You're in this hair fine high priestess energy, balancing out your high vibrational energy, masculine and feminine. <laughs> and this person did not know. Yeah. Let me, <laughs> let me get some from the soul's journey. This is a mess. I mean, it's like this person is so ashamed they're trying to hide this. This person is so used to someone needing them or something like that. They needed to love their self. 
Yeah. And it's like this person don't want you to know that whoever they were attached to was trying to ruin the connection and you already knew before they knew. They were trying to hide the fact that this person is fighting a legal situation too. Immediately after they had to try to wrap you up in some type of legal situation with false statements on you to try to make you look bad and it backfired. And this King of Cups ended up going through some of that too. They were getting wrapped up in different stuff and didn't understand why. Now they're able to see clearly. As you hadn't seen clearly in the past, you were woke. <laughs> yeah, change is here. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. This person realized that they needed to make a change. What was going to change if they didn't move their self? From whatever they were around. These low vibrational energies. They needed to set boundaries. Yeah, guilt is here. I release any I, be, I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth. So yeah, this person was in a jacked up belief system and they were feeling guilty. This kept them in guilt because they needed to set boundaries, get enlightened. They hadn't been lost for so long. And it's like you already knew that. You're someone that's seen both sides of the situation. You went through different stuff too. You hadn't seen different stuff too. This wasn't new to you. Different people doing low vibrational stuff. That's why you had to set yourself free away from people that were like that. Freedom is here. You weren't attached to people like that. Yeah. You detached from people that were like that no matter who it was. Because it would keep, it would have kept you in a low vibrational energy. Yeah, I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. You chose to be happy. Because you had the nine of cups wish fulfillment. Happy. Yeah, forgiveness is here. I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. As I was saying, this person needs to forgive their self. That's why they were trying to hide it from you. Because you haven't spoke the truth. And it's like they don't want you to know that they know you spoke the truth and everything happened that you said. And everything backfired. And you already know this? Yeah, this person needs to forgive their self. You had already forgave this person. They didn't know because you're not attached to this person. And it was like this person was, you know, blaming their self. They were in guilt. This is the lesson that this person needed to learn. They needed to go through all of that so they could grow and learn the lesson so that it wouldn't happen anymore. Yeah, blame is here. I accept responsibility for my well-being. They need to stand up and take responsibility for what they allowed to happen. Because they weren't paying attention to their surroundings. But they snuck up on them at the Seven of Swords. Caused a lot of conflict and chaos in their life because they knew that you and this person were twins. When this person didn't know. Yeah. Loneliness is here. I know that I am never alone. Now this person knows that they are never alone. After they had them set boundaries. And they started cleansing their self. And they can hear their intuition after getting enlightened. Yeah. This person knows you're the other half of them. Judgment is here. I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges. Yeah. Now they're understanding why they were on the path they were on. Why they had so much bad karmic debt because of different people that they were attached to that were very low vibrational, keeping them chained to a lot of bad karmic debt. And it was like, as I look at it, you know, you cannot blame no one else but yourself. You keep yourself stuck. Because people don't want to, you know, look in the mirror and deal with whatever issues that they're dealing with. So they choose to bury it. And then they never grow. Yeah, love is here. I commit to the practice of seeing the good things in life. Seeing the good in all things. Love is here. Person needed to love their self. Person could have been in a hateful energy. Yeah. Because of the energy that they were attached to. But that's what they chose. Person was in denial for a long time. Denial was here. I acknowledge my fear, but I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the insight of awareness. Yeah, this person was in denial a lot and they needed to get aware because that person was causing endings around them. They only wanted to use that person and that person couldn't see it. They were just in this King of Pentacles energy, working hard, 
And they were like working for that person. And they weren't getting anything out of it. And this person could have been on drugs or something like that. Like a leech. They were sucking up everything. People were probably looking at this person like a drug addict. They could have did drugs together. And that was to keep that person in a low vibrational energy. Some people that, some people will, like different men or different women, take it where it resonates. They go in quick at the night of ones, have sex with different people, and then they will, you know, start being off onto drugs or doing different drugs that they're, they're not accustomed to. And it was because they, you know, got attached to this night of ones energy. And that's the only thing that's attaching them to this person, and they're constantly going through judgment. Once they detached from that person, it's like they didn't have anything in common. They weren't attracted to that person. They didn't even want to be around that person. And they were in regret and watching you having victory and success. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to take one more. Envious here. I am the same as everybody, but with different challenges. Yeah, these are people that were envious. Envious of you. You ain't no different from nobody. You just had different challenges. It's like you chose to grow and other people didn't. And they were envious of that. Yeah, grow from the bottom of the deck. You chose to expand your consciousness and your awareness. You chose to get enlightened and set boundaries and focus on your stability. You realize a lot of people just wanted to use you. Yeah, growth is here, but you chose to grow. Yeah, this was, <laughs> it's like this person needed to get out of this low vibrational energy. But they were just keeping their self under judgment, harboring resentment, feeling left out in the cold as this person drained their energy. Yeah. But it's like this person wants to partner up with you. This person might try to hide this from you and you already know. So it's like they're not going to be able to come. It's like. If this person is coming towards you and they're trying to hide the fact that all of this took place and you already know that it's just not you're not going to be able to trust this person and they don't know that it's like you already know and it's supposed to be speaking true standing up being a man or a woman taking responsibility for whatever they allow as they weren't woke but now this person hasn't got enlightened and it's like once you get enlightened you're 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 supposed to be able to speak the truth to people. Yeah. You should be able to be a woman or a man enough to speak the truth and be honest. Because you're the type of person that will speak the truth to a person, be honest to them. It's like if this person is not in that energy, it's not going to go well. It's not going to go well. Yeah. I'm going to end that one out. 